Welcome, Stitchy friends. I'm Lisa, and come and get lost in Stitches with me. Hi, Stitchy friends. This is Lisa at Lost in Stitches. You have found my floss tube channel all about cross stitch. Um, I have lots to share with you today. It's been a month uh, since I've recorded, and um, you know, I've been to a retreat, I've had surgery, and recovered. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll give an update about that at the end, but uh, just not to leave anybody hanging, it did all go really well and I'm feeling great now. So um, yeah, let's kind of dive right in. So thank you if you've subscribed, thank you for coming back and, uh, and as a returning viewer and watching my channel. Um, if you're new here, please hit like, subscribe if you like what you see. Um, it would be great to have you as part of our Lost in Stitches community. So, um, yeah, let's just dive right into this. I have tons to share today. So, um, I have been to the Stitch and Stash retreat here in Edmonton at the West Edmonton Mall. So I'll give a little recap of that later on in the video. Um, I have finished the Canada Sampler. I'm so excited. My husband, Paolo, joined me and um, I have a little video clip to insert later with him putting in the last few stitches of the Canada Sampler. And I have a ton of whips because basically I've been uh, uh, just in recovery mode since the surgery and I have been doing a lot of stitching. So that's... Um, that's basically what we have to share today. I have tons of stitchy kindness. Um, I do have an FFO, so uh, maybe I'll start with that and we'll just dive right in. Okay, so here we are. I have finished the, um, hopefully this isn't, there you go, Autumn House on a Hill by Tiny Modernist. It's super, super cute. This is the first thing that I have stitched on a 40 count. So it's done with uh, cottage garden threads. And these, sorry if the colors blow out a little bit. There we go. It's kind of dark here today, so it's not, uh, it's not been great for recording, but here we go. Anyway, um, these are the cottage garden threads and this was part of the autumn palette from uh, 2022. So if you're not sure what that is, uh, it's any of the patterns that have this little uh, symbol on it. It's the Autumn Garden Palette. And there are several different designers that came together. And every year they have to, uh, they're given a, um, a color scheme of three or four, I think I believe it's four or five uh, colors every time. And then they have to design and within that color scheme. So um, there was one like Autumn Colors by... Uh, Michelle Bendy and um, who else said one? Oh, Hello from Liz Matthews, I believe, has one. I have the little one with the square. I think you guys have seen that one before. So it all uses the same threads. And as you can see, I've finished this one and there's still lots left. There's tons. So I've done this one on 40 count and um, I'm so proud of it. It's so tiny and I just love it. So I have finished it into this little frame. And I absolutely love it. It's just so cute. The stitches are so tiny. And it, I think it just turned out lovely. I love it. So this is just going to sit on my desk. Um, all finished. So I'm really happy. I'm <laughs> on my messy back. So I got it into this frame. But um, then the back wouldn't go on. So do you know what? If you ever get in that situation... It doesn't look the greatest from the back. You know, it's no pro, no pro framing here by me for sure. Um, but this does hold it in place. So then you can still use the stand. Yeah, nobody sees the back anyway. Who cares, right? There. So that is um, Autumn House on a Hill. Just set that over there by the Tiny Modernist. So um, I did get to meet Cheryl from the Tidy Modernist at uh, Stitch North this year. She's just so lovely. Hi, Cheryl, if you ever watch this. Um, I love your designs, and I have a ton <laughs> that I have from Stitch North that, uh, that I'll be starting. I think the Night Terrarium one might be the next one that I pick up from, um, from the series of, of patterns that I got from her. So, all right. Now, we'll move on to the whips. I did have um, a finish. And this one is a long time coming. So it's the Canada Sampler by Stitch Rovia. Um, I'll, insert, oh, I'll insert a picture here. 
and <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty. Sorry, I'll get the hang of this again. Um, and uh, this, is, this is what the pattern looks like. You can find it on Etsy and I'll leave a link for it um, for the shop down below. And this is what the finish looks like. I'll have to stand up. Okay, this Canada sampler. Oh, I'm sorry, the colors are blowing out a bit. There we go, that's a little better. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. You can see it's like from east to west, so all the east provinces, you know, with the ocean and um, lobster fishery in Nova Scotia, right to the CN Tower. And then as it comes across, it goes into the western mountains and uh, north with the North Pole. And of course, a tribute to our indigenous population as we are on their, their land. So yeah, so that's my Canada sampler. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, Paolo and I actually finished it last night, so I'll take a little break here and I'm just going to pop in a video and um, you guys will see how um, how we finished it last night. So Paolo actually put in the last few stitches. It was so fun. So I'll let you guys watch that and then I'll be right back. Hey Stitchy friends, we're back and this is my husband Paolo and we're here today to um, pre-record this just so I can put it into the video for you because Paolo has to work tomorrow when I'm recording. So we just wanted to share um, the last few stitches of the Canada sampler that I'm making for Paolo. So this is the sampler. Um, right down here is where we're going to finish it. It's right here. Those last few red stitches are the last ones that have to go in. And if you remember seeing my video where I introduced Paolo um, maybe two or three videos ago, uh, you'll remember that we said that when this one was done, that Paolo was going to put in the last few <laughs> stitches. So yep. he's been practicing. Right? Very hard. Very hard. Yeah, he's been practicing his axis. And um, he's going to put in the last few stitches for us. So I'm so excited. And, um, and then this one will be a, a finish. So mm -hmm. here we go. So I'll get you set up here. I'll hold this for you. And then you can... Okay. Uh, I'm using light enhancers, they're not glasses. That's right. <laughs> so we're, in, we're both in complete denial that when he buys goggles, that's okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited to see this done. There we go. That's so amazing. Thank you for doing this, sweetheart. <laughs> it is super fun. Mm -hmm. Even for people with limited dexterity like me. <laughs> So I've been telling Paolo that he needs to learn how to cross stitch so that I can actually finish all of my, uh, my whips that I want <laughs> to get done. Right? So it may have to be a joint effort in this lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one is really fun. It's got really nice colors. It does. Yeah. It's so bright. The totem pole is just beautiful on the end. It was just so, so much fun to stitch. Um, the last couple of days I finished the... Um, the government house, the, um, let's see, what else is there? The grapes, the wine, the, uh, the little wheat silo. So it's been really fun stitching on this the last little bit. So just getting a, two more stitches here. Two to go. Yay. Okay, there we go. You got this. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> So this one has been going on for about a year. Yeah, yeah, I think so it started lots of, at, lots uh, of dedication. Started it last June in uh, 2022 when my parents visited. And uh, it's been stitched all over. Um, where have we taken it? I took it to uh, Quebec. I've taken it to Ontario. I took it to BC. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, coming up here in August, I'm going to Newfoundland to see my parents. So um, maybe it'll make a trip to the island just so I can show my mom. <laughs> and then, and there's the last stitch. From, it's coming from coast to coast. Coast to coast. To coast. Yeah, that's right. Yay! And uh, you're so good. This last is awesome. one. Yay! Yay! Got it done. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, 
so I got a little video of him stitching, so I'll, I'll have inserted that here for you guys too. But here, you can show your work. There we go. I think I'll tuck the needle in. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And he added in the last, the last little red strips down here. So the two last those, those little are red nice strips. little stitches. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. So for many of you, um, you may not have seen the other video where I introduced Paolo. Go back and watch that one. It was actually really fun where I introduced <laughs> Mr. Lost in Stitches here. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about why the Canada Sampler was important to you. Yeah, the Canada Sampler has been very important to me because I became a Canadian citizen in May of last year, mm -hmm. May 31st. And uh, just a few days after that, Lisa picked up this uh, pattern and... Uh, uh, when you see it opened up, we'll show it to you in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got all the things that make Canada a great place. Uh, there's a little something about each of the provinces. Mm -hmm. In fact, multiple things about each of the provinces. And of course, a nice big red Canada sign in the right in the center. Mm -hmm. And a totem pole at the base of it because uh, this is indigenous land, really, originally. That's so we celebrate that. Yeah, that's right. I'm so happy it's done. Yay, you get to frame it. <laughs> so I'll bring it back when it is a fully finish and um, and show you guys again, future Lisa here. We'll insert this in when I flip back um, to my other video and you'll get to see the whole thing, um, the whole thing spread out. But yeah. thank you so much for finishing it, my, sweetheart. It's been a pleasure. It's been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. All right, so as you can see from the video, we just had so much fun um, getting this one finished. Paolo was so proud to put in the last few stitches and um, you know, maybe I can train him up to, to become a cross stitcher here to help me out with some of my whips because I have tons. <laughs> so, all right, this is, uh, this is it again, all finished. And you can see down here the little red stitches that, uh, that Paolo put in, so. This one will be treasured in our house. I'm gonna get this one framed. Um, I'm not sure if I'll frame it myself or if I'll send it off for framing, but um, but this one will certainly be hung up on our on our walls here. So here, I'll need to find a place to put things. <laughs> All right. So the next one that I am stitching on is for Pam Survival Sal. Um, I couldn't. There's two things. I couldn't get the praiseworthy um, stitches. Uh, pattern in time because it kind of it was right at the time that I was getting ready to go into surgery and it was just a really busy time so I didn't get the same uh, the same pattern but just as um, as Sarah from Sarah's Stitchy Spot hi Sarah oh I loved your last video it was so great the cow does have four legs <laughs> that's awesome um, so uh, I'm actually doing the Courage one from um, Cottage Garden samplings I believe I never get that right so here we go so I um, I have a bird almost done so I can move my coffee here we go the bird almost finished and the colors are just gorgeous on this this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished and um, it shouldn't take too too long it has the word courage that comes across here and a few flowers in the bottom these are a lot bigger than you would think Right? I think a lot of people have said that, but so this one is stitched with um, all the called for colors. There's some Weeks Dye Works and I believe a couple of the classic color works. And this one is on a piece of 32 count linen um, by Picture This Plus called Hibiscus. That's the best here. Yep. I absolutely love it. The color is kind of blowing out. It's kind of more like that, like that purpley pink color. Yeah, I absolutely love this one. Um, I have the um, gratitude one that I'm going to be starting here right away. If anybody wants to stitch along with any of these, I'll create a hashtag and um, and put it on Instagram. I'll, I'll let you know what that is the next time because um, uh, I just have to get back into the swing of this. It's been about a month of, of not really, um, <clears throat> sorry, of not being involved in um, in a lot of the the community things so i'm i'm just getting back into it i'll be posting on instagram again soon all right so the um the next one is a stitch along that 
Laura from Wallody Stitches. Hi, Laura, that we're hosting. And um, this one is called The Visitor. So here's what it's gonna look like when it's done. It's by Fox and Rabbit Designs. And this one, I have the beast gap done. And part of the fractor, the bird, that's part of his tail. So this is where I am on the stitch along. I'm hoping to get a little bit more time in on this one, um, probably over the next week or two, and, and maybe even get the bird uh, get the bird finished. That would probably be my goal is to just keep going. The colors are absolutely stunning in this. Um, it's all Weeks Dye Works and uh, Classic Color Works as well. Oh, sorry, and it's on a piece of 32 count um, Murmur. It's from Zweigart, so. Yeah, I love that. It's absolutely beautiful. So if you want to join us in um, in stitching along with this uh, with this pattern, it's called the Visitor from Fox and Rabbit Designs, and the hashtag for Instagram is hashtag uh, the Visitor Sal. So pretty simple. Uh, you can find us over there, and we'd love to see your progress. So Laura and I are still stitching along on this one, and we'll um, we'd love for you guys to join us. So. All right, the next one that I have is um, in the library and it's from Mojo Stitches and you can find this on Etsy. It's an Australian designer and this one is stitched all with cottage garden threads. So I ordered the, um, the thread pack from, from Australia and had it come and this is where I am at with this one. And this is stitched on a piece of 32 count linen. It's called Light Sage. And I got this at Stitch North from Carrie um, at Evertote. So it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a color that she released for Stitch North, but it is gonna actually be in her regular lineup as I understand, I think so. Uh, Carrie, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's what she said when I picked it up, so. Yes, I absolutely love this one. There's, um, I believe, four shelves, and then there's a border that's around. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's tons, as you can see, tons and tons of color changes um, in this one, and all of the flosses are variegated. So, uh, you know, it's a little picky to be for stitching, but I really like it. I'm kind of working up here right now with the lamp. So I didn't put a ton into this. I think I extended this over and put the lamp in and maybe finished, finished this vase off here. Um, but I'm really enjoying stitching on this. It's absolutely beautiful. This is probably more like the color of the fabric. It's kind of blowing out. It's really green more than um, more than gray. But yeah, beautiful. And, and this is what it will look like when it's finished. I'll put in a picture here for you guys. All right, so that's one more done. Um, oh, this one has been, oh my gosh, I've spent so much time on this. I started it... Um, June 26th, I believe it was. I was a little bit late to the first day of summer party. <laughs> so there is um, a hashtag for this one. Oh, I'll put it down below here. I can't remember, I don't know. Laura um, from Stitching by the Shore and Beth, the Steadfast Stitcher, are hosting um, a stitch along for this one. And then the Hugo Stitcher is actually starting it um, August 1st for her birthday. So I'm gonna be joining into both of these cells. Although I did um, start it now, I still want to join in with that. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> I still wanna join in with Samantha's uh, stitch along for this one. So um, it is called, uh, let's get there first, uh, from Lila Studio, it's called Summer Quaker. So this one is how far I've gotten. I started in the middle. And let's see if I can bring this in so that you guys can see it properly. There we go. And the middle part is so fun to stitch. I thought it was gonna be some of the, a little bit hard to be honest, but uh, it is just so fun. You get all those little motifs in and then um, stitching the houses was so fun. And um, so I've basically almost got this, this page is basically finished except for the fill in around the blue. So um, that water is no joke. <laughs> Just don't leave that to the end. This is stitched on, um, on 40 count. Uh, so it takes a lot to fill that in, as you can see, uh, there's just a ton of stitches. So what I've been doing is just going back and putting in um, a thread of blue and then I'll do something else and then a couple threads of blue again for the water, so. And this is all stitched in DMC. And this piece of fabric, let's see if I can get the true colors. 
It's like blue and green models. It's 40 count. And this one is hand dyed by um, Charlene from the Grateful Thread. So this is a one of a kind piece of fabric, um, but she can make these types of fabrics for you. So I will share, let's see, I have her card here. I'll just take it off of this one. Uh, no, I'll show you after anyway. Um, I will share her information down below with her email. So if you want uh, some of these fabrics, you can uh, get in touch with her that way. But this is going to be, this is just so fun. I could not, I could not put it down. I have absolutely loved stitching on this. I'm so happy to be joining the, um, the stitch along. I haven't posted my pictures yet, but I will be, um, I will be uploading some things to Instagram over the next few days just to get caught up on, uh, on my social media accounts here, but it's so pretty. I'm so in love with it. I've seen a lot of people starting, um, with the motifs around. It's like, I know, um, Lauren from New Hampshire Stitcher. Hi, Lauren. Um, she has actually started going down the, the left side and, um, who else? I think Laura herself from the uh, Stitching by the Shore, she's kind of gone into the Quakers as well. Hers are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get to that part too. So anyway, that's where I am on Summer Quakers from uh, Lila Studio. And this is what it's going to look like when it's completely done right here. I apologize, guys. I am a little bit rusty. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it all straight. Oh my. It will get better, I promise. Um, so the next one up, I did put some work into my uh, Fruits of Plenty from Modern Folk Embroidery. It will look like this when it's finished. So um, this one has been inspired from uh, Stitched ID on, um, on Instagram. And so what she's done and, and what I've done now is uh, to stitch the negative in the Fruits of Plenty. So I gone down and done that circle on the side and what I worked on this last time was just filling in here and getting this um, this piece here worked on so got some of the colors I'm just filling in that heart right now and then I'm going to continue on across to the top over here so that's where I am on my fruits of plenty I have so enjoyed working on this. I am stitching it in four colors of DMC, which I'll have in the description box below. Um, the difference is that, uh, if you haven't seen this whip from me before, is that this really should be all, the white part should be stitched, and then this red part would be shining through, right? It's like a reverse stitch, a ceaseless stitch, I can't remember the name of it, but, um, so the fabric would become the pattern, but I've actually stitched the pattern instead of filling all of that in. And the same effect happens as you go down the side here and, and for some of the, uh, the border pieces over here. So I'm actually loving it. I love the colors and uh, I can't wait to have this one done. The stitches just are beautiful on this, uh, on this fabric. Again, it's a 32 count, um, just antique white Zweigart for this one. There we go. All right, this is my <laughs> crazy, um, huge project. This is my BAP. I think this is my biggest one that I have right now. Um, this one is called Quinto Acuto, and this is where I am on that. Try to hold it up to the side. There we go. And I would like to have this done for the end of the year. So I am now coming across the bottom. As you can see, this is the bottom edge of the pattern. And um, so I'll hold this up so you can see it a little better. I almost have the bottom half complete. So if you, about right here, like this, this one here would be about the center. So um, <clears throat> I just put in the, the ship, I've outlined the whale and I'm starting to fill him in. I put in the other flamingo and I filled in this section down here. So. That's what I've been working on on that one. Um, I would love to have this done for the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> realistic. I am certainly going to try. It's coming to Newfoundland with me and I think will be um, a focus stitch for the month of, um, of August. So hopefully I'll get at least maybe five or 6,000 stitches into this while I'm away 
and um, and then we'll see where that takes us. So that should get us over the, the halfway point uh, across the bottom. So this is Quinto Acuto. Um, this is what it's going to look like when it's completely finished. This one is stitched with DMC 939. It's a really deep navy, as you can see, and it's on uh, antique white Ada, 18 count. And it's just a total joy to stitch on. The monochromatic piece is just so, so, so nice. I, I absolutely love them. All right, so the next one, um, I'll insert a picture here. It's hands-on designs, everyday things. And I'm almost finished this one. I'm very close to a finish. This one will be a finish for my next video, I believe. But um, it's the everyday sweet little things are the most beautiful. So what I have left to do is just to finish off the last little flower on this border here. Um, I need to finish the house, obviously. The house comes down the side. The hand still needs the, um, the flesh tone added. I need to come back to this. It's a really deep pink. It's this color. Um, and I and I didn't want that uh, that so I need to just go back and find a different color for that one and Then the back stitching so there's some needles that come out of the little tomato here And then there's words like stitch nature friends family um, That get stitched around so you know, maybe a day or two of stitching and I'll have this one uh, completely finished so this is stitched like I said with all DMC and um, it's actually on a piece of Brin and Needle uh, fabric. This one is called Mozzie Day. It's 28 count. And uh, hi, Patty. Hi, Cheryl. Um, Brin and Needle are a fabric and floss company out of Newfoundland, Inc., here in Canada. And um, they have just the most beautiful, as you can see, I have some in my stash here, uh, beautiful fabrics and, uh, and hand-dyed flosses. So this one is called Mozzie Day which is like a foggy, foggy, rainy day. That's what that means. It's gorgeous with these gray, green tints. I just love it. All right, so that one should be done for next time. Let's probably make that into a little pillow, I think. And uh, my next two, um, my last two that I've worked on, uh, these two are new starts. So I, um, absolutely fell in love with this um, piece of fabric. So this again is from Charlene at the Grateful Thread and this one is called uh, Castles in the Air. So I'll put in a picture from here and it's uh, long dog samplers. So this is another big long dog sampler. Um, it is here. That's about the true color of the fabric. It's a green blue Keeley color. This will be the size of it. We'll come over to about here and then it goes down again with three inch margins. So it's a fairly big project. Um, I'm really, really, really loving stitching on this. I love the little owls peeking out and there's a lot of back stitching in this, um, a lot of back stitching in this pattern. So all of the um, flower here gets back stitching and it has like these little lines and there's butterflies everywhere like it just has so much detail um, and what sold me on this was right up across the bottom as you can see in the picture um, it says uh, dare to dream a little dream with me so uh, that just spoke to me because you know it, being on a cancer journey and you have to keep hope Right? Like you have to stay strong and think that there is a future and um, and and plan and still and still dream big dreams, right? And it's this this one just really spoke to me. So it's just uh, dare to dream a little dream with me, right? Oh, sorry for the hanging thread. You can see how I, how I was stitching away there. That was the back. <laughs> Here's the front. There you go. So I can't wait to uh, to work a little bit more on this one. This one will be uh, basically what I continue on with after I finish up the uh, the Quinto Acuto. Now, what am I stitching this with? So um, this one is stitched with 100% silk. It is Sanjo, not Sanju, like the, the French silks. Um, this one is Sanjo, S-A-N-J-O. 
and this is a uh, hand dyed wild silk 100% wild silk from um, the weaving studio on Granville Island in uh, in Vancouver here in Canada and you can get a hank of this like a huge hank it's um, how many meters 710 yards for $26 and it is uh, the I'll put the link to it below but it's the 30 slash 2 weight and um, it is absolutely gorgeous I don't know if it'll focus here but it's beautiful to stitch with it's really um, a weaving silk so normally you would use it on a loom and weave scarves or blankets or sweaters and um, and some people finger like finger weight knit and crochet and things with it and weave but um, I took a chance and bought a few of these while I was in if you remember while I was in Vancouver the last time and um, and they have just worked out like a dream so if you're looking for an affordable way to stitch with 100% um, wild silk it's gorgeous it's super shiny as you can see um, that's one way to get it and you support a local artist here in Canada so um, I will put the link to that below as well for the company and you can go in and see there's all different weights um, I also have uh, in my next one I'll show you here another another type of silk uh, that I've started a project with with that so uh, this again is castles in the air and that's where I am so I've stitched all of this I started it um, right after my surgery here so I stitched all of that in the last two weeks that's that one and the next one that I've started is another long dog so if you go to the long dog site she now has these um, smaller versions which is wonderful of her um, of her patterns and they're picadillos I believe they're called picadillos I think and um, they're in the pull down box they're not with the regular patterns if you pull it down there's a thing that says like about and samplers and whatever so then um, there is one called picadillos and these ones are there's square ones and band ones and rectangular ones the square ones are 145 by 145 stitches so they're very reasonable they're not huge um, and they're all about just like a, a quick fling or <laughs> they're really funny names but this one is called dalliance and I'll insert a picture here of what it will look like when it's done and I I just had a small start on this one I, I didn't uh, I just wanted to get it started but I am stitching this one in um, an ivory white color with um, with this 32 count I believe it's, sorry I believe it's 32 yes 32 count linen um, and this is midnight on the bay from uh, Brin and Needle as well and it is stunning gorgeous I love the deep color um, it's showing as a, a bit more modeled than it is in um, in real life obviously I think that's kind of the way the camera picks it up but uh, let's see I can fold it up a little bit here and you can kind of get to see yeah, so those are the little tiny white stitches and that's uh, one thread and two over two or sorry one over two there you go and that's the corner of uh, dalliance now I'm stitching this also with another Sanjo um, uh, thread so, or silk this is here sorry it's not focusing very well today <clears throat> my throat is still a little bit sore you can hear uh, from when they did the surgery and the you know they put you to sleep and things it's still it's still coming back but yeah, apologies for that so this is um, is 75 no let me see the percentages 80% silk and 20% alpaca it is so buttery soft it's amazing the only thing is that this one I don't know if you, you'll be able to see that but it is a little bit fluffy little tiny bit and that's the alpaca from there um, but the weight is perfect and when you stitch with it it just gives this super soft it feels like a little sweater it's so pretty um, I love it and you don't get the fluffiness in the, the stitching as much but uh, but in the thread itself it is uh, if so if that bothers you maybe just go with the ivory 30 over 2 from Senjo um, 
but this one I, I just loved how soft it was and it feels so nice when you're when you're stitching with it so uh, so those are the two things that I've started with my Sanjo silks and uh, I'm really looking forward to continuing on with that one and I did work a little tiny bit I think I've put this in since my whip parade um, this one is tiny modernist I'll put in a picture here it's stitching mends the soul and here it is and whoops and I believe I put in um, this just this little spool since my whip parade I think so I'll throw it in anyway but and this one is on a piece of, uh, it's a one-of-a-kind fabric from uh, Carrie at Roxy Floss Co. in uh, Evertote. And it's just this charcoal gray color, more like, more like this color. Yeah. So, and all that's left is to come across here with two more spools and put in the words, um, Stitching Men's the Soul. So this one should also probably be done for my next video, I think, if I can focus in on it. I should be able to get this one done. And this is also a 32 count and just stitched with the uh, Call for DMC. So that is everything that I have been working on um, in the last month. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a whole box of haul here. So I um, did quite a bit of shopping at the stitch and stash retreat so I have lots there and I have a one two three stitch order that has come um, in the meantime so and I have stitchy kindness so I think I'll start with the stitchy kindness and I'll show you a few of the things that people have given to me um, over the last uh, over the last month here it's the kindness of the people in this community just it warms my heart honestly I cannot wait to give back just as much as I've received or more um, over the last over the last couple of months, it has just been overwhelmingly um, kind. Like people are just so 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 generous, and um, I just want to say thank you to a few of these people and everybody that has sent me emails and well wishes on Instagram and. You know, um, Marilyn checked in again, uh, the lady that made me the quilt. So just thank you so much for, for emailing. There's um, Deborah. I, I can't even name them all. There's just been so many people uh, that have been concerned and checked in. And I appreciate uh, I appreciate your patience <laughs> in waiting for me to come back and, and feel well enough to do, um, to do another video. And, uh, and here's some of the stitchy kindness that I got over the last, over the last little bit. So this beautiful sign came in the mail. It's a uh, belief. So this one is from Michelle. She's at Lola Girls, Lola's Girl Stitching on Instagram. And uh, she was at weekend one of Stitch North. So I didn't get to meet Michelle. And um, she was supposed to come to Stitch and Stash, but, um, but couldn't make it. Uh, I think she has an illness or something uh, herself or in her family. So, uh, you know, we'll hopefully meet soon, Michelle. Uh, you mean on a Zoom? I think it would be really nice. Um, but she also has this sign and uh, felt that it would be really, um, really nice for me to have one too. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I, I definitely do believe I'm a very positive, uh, <laughs> positive force here. So she sent me a beautiful little card. That's my favorite, the macaroons. <laughs> so so good so I'll be sending back uh, a little thank you to all these people as well now that I can get up and move again all right this one was from Mel um, a beautiful little card from Australia it says hello there and uh, Mel was the winner of the happy mail draw that I did um, a couple of months ago so she sent me back just a little thank you which is so kind and generous it wasn't necessary but I totally appreciate it Mel um, a little uh, skein of silks for you silk um, a couple of needle minders look at these little buttons they're just so cute I mean, you can't really see it the bees and the little koalas they're just so so sweet um, some little stamps and papers for my uh, for my journal that I'll add into and um, this one called Australian Afternoon, a Twinnings Tea that I've never had before. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. I can't wait. 
All right. And that one was from Mel. Sorry, I need to keep myself organized here. <laughs> All right. This one, I, I could not believe that this came. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous. So this is from Linda. Hi, Linda. Um, she is the Richter Stitcher on YouTube. You should go and, and she sent me this beautiful card first. I'll show you that. So nice. And... Uh, Go and follow her on YouTube as well. She has a floss tube. It's absolutely lovely. And what Linda sent me was this beautiful, like incredible uh, lap blanket that she made. Look at this. It's so heavy and warm and um, with the little baubles on the end. It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you can see here. I, I'm so impressed. I don't know if I could make this. I can crochet, but uh, this is just absolutely gorgeous with all of the interlocking um, strands. And, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Linda. Um, I've tried to uh, to reach out. I think I'll just leave a message to say thank you on your um, on your YouTube. I couldn't find you on Instagram, so if you could let me know, I can send you a message there too. But um, this is gorgeous and it will be treasured. It's so, 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 so pretty. Thank you so much, Linda. Um, and like I say, she has a floss tube, so go on over there and follow her, um, follow her as well. Uh, I was watching um, the Antique Needle Workers. Hi, Shelly. Hi, hi, girls. Hi, Liz. Um, and Linda had also sent her some booties for um, a, a ministry that Shelly leads for, it's for little babies who are like, who are in need or you know young moms who are who are in maybe a, a home and the baby is born and they, they just need more things or, or little babies that are in the NICU units so um she had made some booties and sent to Shelly as well for her ministry and they were absolutely gorgeous so you're very talented Linda and uh, I appreciate your kindness and generosity to everybody in this community you're just uh, a beautiful person so <laughs> anyway go over and watch Linda she's fantastic and um, I got this beautiful card in the mail. So this one is from Christy from the um, Floss Boss and Cousins. Now, I will admit, uh, I haven't been able to watch the last video from Christy and Kaylee because um, from the surgery, I couldn't laugh. Like it just hurts, so, my abs just hurt so much to laugh. And when I watch them, I am constantly laughing, chuckling, smiling. They're just an absolute joy to watch some of Callie's one-liners and just the they're just so fun together so I absolutely love you girls I appreciated this card so much girls um it it just came at just the right time and I'm happy that you found my channel and that you watch and that you give me a lovely shout out um it was very, very much appreciated. So uh, that's Floss Boss and Cousins. Go on over and watch Christy and Callie. You know, make sure that you, uh, you know, you put your coffee down so that you don't spit it out laughing. <laughs> and uh, oh my God, they're just fantastic. Uh, if you need a pick me up and a chuckle, that's where you should go. They're just lovely, lovely women. And, um, and I will be sending you girls something back in the mail. So uh, keep an eye for that shortly. <laughs> um, and then one of my other um, stitchy friends in um, oh I have the uh, one more thing here too this this one sorry bear with me here this should have been over here as a kindness okay um, one of my other stitchy friends Cheryl sent me this um, and she gave me just a little you know, cheers and rest and comfort. She's here in um, in the Edmonton area and she's one of our local stitchy friends that, um, hi Cheryl, just absolutely love you. She has just got the kindest heart and uh, she also owns uh, Creations by Cheryl. She makes bags and all kinds of uh, thread beds and bags and scissor holders and you'll see some of the things that I got in haul from her. They are absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'll put the contact information down below and this is actually her card. It's Creations by Cheryl. Let's see if that focuses. Yeah. There we go. And uh, so that's her information and I will put it down below. 
and she gave me this thread bed. Um, I'm not sure if you remember from a few episodes back um, in the spring, she gave me a project bag that has this material. And then when I went to Stitch and Stash, she actually gave me the thread bed that um, that matches it to go with it. So I just so appreciate that, Cheryl. You're just such a lovely friend. Um, and then in the mail, she actually sent me these little stickers from my happy planner <clears throat> that I use and I keep track of all my stitching things and um, I do have a video on how I've done that probably <clears throat> sorry it was a flossy Baxter I believe anyway it's one of the videos back I can uh, I'll try to insert a link to it below if you're interested in how to do your happy planner uh, I did make a video on that and my planner is actually right right here <laughs> I keep it tucked in so anyway, thank you, Cheryl, for these. That was just so, so kind and generous. And um, another stitchy gift from Jen at the um, Stitch and Stash retreat were these scissors <clears throat> here that she gave me. They are gorgeous. So I have an exorbitant amount of scissors at this point because of Jen. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> she has gorgeous gorgeous scissors and um i have a stash here as you can see there's a ton all lined up there maybe 15 or so and in my next video i think i'll pull them all out and i can show you um what she has but this is jen from cute it's a button needle minders this is one of her cards let's see if i can let me do this again there we go cute as a button needle minders and uh she's just an absolute gem. I love Jen. She's just so nice. Hi, Jen. Um, so if you want needle minders, um, you can get, uh, she has a, a Facebook page that you can go and find her. Cute as a button needle minders. If you just put that in, it'll come up. And, uh, and she sells tons of beautiful um, scissors as well. So if you need new fancy scissors, that's where, um, that's a great place to go and get them. They're gorgeous. And then what I keep them in, because they are actually fairly sharp, um, this is another Creations by Cheryl here. If I can do this again. Um, she makes these little leather, um, leather um, little cases for the scissors to go in. So I got a few of those, and you can see all of my scissors are lined up in the little cases back here. And like I said, I'll, um, I will go through that in my next video maybe. Just to show you some of the scissors that I got at, uh, at the Stitch and Stash from her. Okay, so that was my stitchy kindness. Um, I apologize if I missed anybody. I don't think that I did. I tried to keep everything together. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll move on um, to haul. <laughs> a bit ridiculous I'm not gonna lie um, I got so many beautiful things at the stitch and stash retreat um, and I got an order from Bryn and Needle and I got an order from 123 stitch so I think I'll start with the um, Bryn and Needle sorry for the paper crinkling here I'm over the side there we go so from Bryn and Needle I got another piece of Mozzie Day this is a 13 by 19 piece of Mozzie Day. And this one is a 36 count, just a little bit of a smaller count. But if you look really closely at this, you can see that it has little flecks of colors in there. I just can't really pick it up in the camera, but it's absolutely beautiful. I, I love that. So I get a small piece of that, um, that fabric. Now I got three different floss colors. From them so Cheryl this is their tags this is uh, Bryn and Needle and this color is called Gooby's Newfoundland and it's this like bright pink um, deep red <laughs> color it's absolutely Cheryl you've outdone yourself the three colors that I have here are absolutely gorgeous I love them um, I know it's been really busy for you ladies lately but I'm looking forward to um, to getting your floss club uh, and fabric. So this one is called Goobies Newfoundland. So if you're not from Newfoundland, you probably don't know what Goobies would mean, but Goobies is actually a place um, in Newfoundland 
and it's about an hour and a half outside of St. John's on the Trans-Canada Highway and it's got a huge gas station, Irving station there um, with a huge moose. Everybody kind of stops to get pictures taken with this huge um, cast iron moose thing and uh, right at that turn is where you turn to go down to uh, right at that stop is where you turn to go down the highway to Marystown where I'm from. So um, at Goobies is always a, a treat for me when I was little, right? We would always stop there. It's the halfway point of, of having a trip to town, as we called it. And, um, and I, so I just had to get this color. And, and on top of that, it's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. And this one is um, another one. It's called Dark Tickle. And this is like a purpley gray color. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that one. And then this one, I this is my favorite, I think, absolutely. It's called Iceberg Alley. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous bright blue. And if you've ever seen the, the Cheryl, you've nailed this color. If you have ever seen um, icebergs, particularly up close, not safe to go close, a little <laughs> disclaimer there, but, um, you know, if you've been out in the bay when, when there are, um, icebergs coming in or if you've gone on a tour uh, this is kind of the color of the blue as you look into some of the deeper parts of the ice it's it's gorgeous I absolutely love it it's a bit of a white and blue um, variegated Ugh, my coloring is not great today sorry guys there we go so that was my order from uh, Brennan Needle from the girls so thank you Patty and Cheryl for sending that off to me um, super appreciate it and like I said I'll be looking for your floss club again um, in a little bit when you guys get it up again all right this is the um, one two three stitch order so um, I've gotten this one and there's another one actually coming that I ordered on May 24th believe it or not it's still not here but it got you know one two three stitch sent it I ordered it the 24th and they sent it on the 25th so it was there you know they had it out the door very quickly and shipped um, as they normally do but um, it got hung up at Canadian Customs on May 29th and it just got released yesterday so I'm hoping to have it before my birthday um, my birthday start is, is actually in there I didn't want to announce it in my last one because I didn't know if I would have the package but I am going to be doing um, I'll put a picture of it in here I'm gonna be doing uh, strawberry fields forever from blackbird for my birthday on July 31st so um, I will be starting that one just just before we go to um, to Newfoundland and uh, I'll be taking it with me so for my birthday if any of you want to join in with the um, the strawberry fields forever um, I will make a, a hashtag for it and I'll put it um, in the description box below I'll try to be back before I go to Newfoundland for another video um, if not I am gonna try and film with my mom hi mom <laughs> love you love you love you uh, and maybe even my dad maybe dad would want to come in there too. challenge out <laughs> so, um, we'll get um, we'll get my mom and dad maybe into a floss tube so you can get to see them a little bit and uh, and we'll share some of my mom's stitching so hopefully I'll have another floss tube build before I go and uh, the uh, hashtag that I want to use for my birthday sorry is um, hashtag Lisa's blackbird birthday so um, because it's a little bit late now I mean it's already the 17th oh I didn't say that this is the 17th of July um, it may be a little bit late for you to get that other pattern the strawberry fields forever if you have it or if you're already stitching it feel free to jump in with that one but for Lisa's black blackbird birthday sal um, it's just stitch any blackbird pattern so um, you're wide open to whatever you want to stitch and I cannot wait to see um, all of the patterns that you guys pick to, um, to to join in on that stitch along so it would be so 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 fun if you could join in and um, again that's hashtag Lisa's blackbird birthday sale all right so I have a lot of blackbird patterns I'm collecting up um, a lot of my favorites from them now and the first one is um, sweet summer come again 
by Blackbird Designs. I did get this one. So I can't wait to make um, this little roll here too. I love both of these. And uh, there's probably a little better picture here. The strawberries, absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to start that one. Um, I did get the book, A Heart Remembers. This one has so many beautiful patterns in it. Like look at this one on the back. This is gorgeous. Like I absolutely love these. Love, love, love these. Um, let's see if I can show you a couple here without giving it all away. Where My Heart Blooms. Gorgeous. Look at that big white house. And then the little pillow. It's so pretty. And sorry, I don't want to show any, uh, any patterns in here. But just some of the, uh, the designs. Or look at that flower. It's beautiful. So there's just a lot. There's some heart patterns in here that I would really like to do for my dear friend, or you could put any anyone on there. And I think that um, Rai Rai Magai, hi Ryan. <laughs> I think that this is the one he stitched maybe for, I believe it was Ellen. I can't remember. I remember watching this thing, but I think this is the one he stitched. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan, sorry, but, um, but it is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. And what else? Oh, this is M. Bell one. Here, whoops. Beautiful. Anyway, you get the point, but there's just so many. This is an absolutely beautiful book. It is worth every penny. Um, and I just like to have a cup of coffee and look through those books. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So um, the next one that I got is the Summer from Loose Feathers from Blackbird. So I just love the strawberries in this one. I still need the, um, the winter and autumn, but I will get those eventually. Um, but I love that. I want to stitch all three of them together. And I got Moonlight Visitor. I love that one. With the moth over the big house and that tree. I just love it. Yeah, gorgeous. Moonlight Visitor. I got, oops, some fall over. <laughs> I got Yellow Submarine from Blackbird. So I really like this Magical Mystery Tour series. I have all of them now, or coming, I have to, in that other order, except the Eleanor Rigby one. I still need to get that one. But, uh, but I will have all of these. I love the border that goes across the top here and just the, the fish with the little banner and, and there's just so many cute. So Laura from uh, Lala D Stitches, she has stitched this and it's actually in the background um, of her and she's shown it on her floss tube as well. Um, she's, it's in her background on the wall. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So yeah, and if you're not watching Laura over at Lala D Stitches, she's an absolute delight. I absolutely love her. It's one of those when her notification pops up that I just drop everything and watch. She's just absolutely beautiful. Um, she has beautiful stitching and, um, and you should go over and give her a watch and a, a like and a subscribe. <laughs> She's just wonderful. So, um, this one is the Tender Heart series, My Heart is Home. So I got that one. And that's number two, and this one is number three. I still need to get number one. Uh, stitch by stitch, mending my heart. And how true is that for me right now? <laughs> I just, my stitching has been such a gift for me um, over this last year. I absolutely love it, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, this is another book that I picked up. It's called The Sewing Club. And it's uh, 16 projects to stitch and sew. I love this big one down here. And the little, uh, the little drum here. There's just so many beautiful, beautiful patterns in here as well. I, I think I'll show this one without the, I get this bird with her hair. Oh, it's beautiful. I like, I really like some of the prim colors. Um, there's actually a bag with hollyhocks. Just so nice. These books are well, well worth it. You get lots of patterns and, um, you know, for a very reasonable price. So that one is the Sewing Club. I also have the um, Ooh La La book 
I don't know if they have it. Right here. Hmm. Sorry, no, I think it might be over in my, my other pile, but I do have the Ooh La La book from, um, from Blackbird as well. It's all French designs. They're absolutely gorgeous too. Uh, this one is uh, Chubby Bird <laughs> from Jeanette Douglas. The colors are beautiful in this. They're all weeks and classic color works. And I uh, can't wait to start this one. There's actually a Chubby Bunny as well that my friend Lorraine gave me. So um, I will be stitching both of these and finishing them as little pillows maybe. I think this one is in a little tart tin, which is really, really cute. If I can find one of those maybe. So I will be stitching that one. And uh, the next one that I got is the Seaside Tiny Town. And uh, Laura from Stitching by the Shore, hi Laura, <laughs> is, uh, is also stitching this one. Let's see if I can get this. There we go, it's kind of crooked on this one. I still have to pick up some of the colors for this. I won't be starting it right away, but uh, but absolutely loved that one. That's my first tiny town. And uh, Shelly, hi Shelly, one of my stitchy friends here. Shelly's going to be so proud of me because this is my very first Mill Hill kit. And uh, I just love the outdoors. We love camping and hiking and we spend a lot, normally we spend a lot of our summer in the back country um, camping and going all through the Rocky Mountains. So uh this really spoke to us. We've done lots of canoeing adventures too, little expeditions and, uh, you know, six night uh, canoeing trips. And yeah, it's, it really speaks to us. So um, I'll have that one. I'll probably put it in our cabin in our, um, at our acreage in BC. This one is called Mid-Century Gardens from Hands On Design. Now I'm looking for the other two here. So if you guys have any ideas of where I can get those. I, I, no, mind you, I didn't look like super hard, but I just couldn't find them. It's a collaboration between Ink Circles, Summer House Stitch Works, right? Summer House Stitch Works, yeah, and um, Hands On Design. So I have this one, but I still want to get the other two. So if anybody knows where to get those, um, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, this here is another um, Heart and Hand. It says, it was always you. So this is um, a little collection of pillows that I'm making for Paolo and I. There we go. All right, and that was my one, two, three order. Um, just speaking of pillows, I did have um, one more fully finished thing. It was a gift for Paolo, but it's over on his desk. So I'm just gonna run and grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are again. So this was one more fully finished that I had. I completely slipped my mind because I'd given it to Paolo as a gift. Um, it is called Love You Too. And it is from um, Hands On Design. So Kathy gives, uh, Kathy, I believe her name is Sorry. Um, she designs one of these for her husband every year for their anniversary. And um, this one just really spoke to me for Paolo and I. So I stitched this here, as you can see, it's a, here it's a 32 count antique white DMC colors called for. And then this was my first time stitching with perforated paper and I actually really, really like it. It's so fun. Um, so I can't wait to do the Mill Hills. But this is the, um, the little love notes and the house and yeah. And then I just tied, so I, I stitched this and then sewed this on. Um, this got attached, I glued it, and then this is the backing fabric with the little birds. Yeah, and then this one is a Lady Dot Creates um, pom pom trim. And uh, this is a trim that I picked up in Montreal in a pack from Craft Deville. Um, that's another great store. If you're looking for Tula Pink fabrics or vibrant fabrics, um, I'll put a link to her shop below. I did a little uh, recap of it after my last trip to Montreal. She has cross stitching supplies and, um, and quilting uh, and embroidery. So if you're, if you're looking for things, trims and things like that, that's a really cute place, uh, craftdeville.com. Uh, and she's very lovely. Um, 
Yeah. So anyway, this was one of my more fully finished ones. I did stitch and finish this as well. All right, a sip of coffee here. <laughs> and now we will deep dive into the stitch and stash um, retreat recap and the things that I got from this retreat. So um, the stitch and stash retreat was from June 22nd to 25th. Um, I believe that's right, yeah. Uh, just going back um, uh, a few weeks ago. And it was absolutely amazing. I can't tell you. Um, it, the people were just so happy and everybody's stitching all in the same room. Like if you've never been um, to a retreat, I encourage you to go. It is just such a sense of community and um, everybody is just so welcoming. Even if you have to go by yourself, um, certainly if you're in the Edmonton area here and you want to go to a retreat in this area, whether it's to the Wagaman Stitching by the Lake or Stitch and Stash next year, like certainly reach out to me. Um, we have a huge stitching community here that uh, that is very welcoming to to new stitchers. So uh, just let me know if you are in the area, and you know we can do like a hashtag Stitch Harmony thing, <laughs> like uh, like Pam and Steph do. Hi Pam and Steph. Um, but anyway, if you if you are here in the Edmonton area and you want uh, want to join a stitching group or want to get together with me to stitch. Um, certainly reach out and we can make that happen. I'd be more than happy to do that. And um, so anyway, the Stitch and Stash Retreat is was hosted by um, my friends, Jean and Kelly. Uh, they are just, they were such lovely hosts. They had, um, you know, amazing door prizes. It was really well organized. Uh, they had vendors. So Traditional Stitches was there as a vendor. Um, that's a Netherworks store out of the Calgary area. A little bit west of Calgary and um, <clears throat> so hi Janice it was so nice to meet you too um, and then there was uh, creations by Cheryl so she had all the bags and everything and then Jen was there from Cues about needle minders and uh, she had needle minders and scissors and um, little rings uh, like floss drop rings and things it was beautiful store setups and uh, Charlene was there uh, the Grateful Thread with all of uh, her fabrics. So there it was just, um, oh, and Veldani had a table set up with some of their um, flosses and wool fabrics and things. So uh, it was just a lovely, lovely time. Um, oh, Karen, from, sorry, Karen, oh my God, uh, from Rocky Mountain Needle Minders was there as a vendor too. So she had all of hers. So I have things from all of these stores. So I'll go through um, with you. And I'll also show you some of the things that we got in our grab bags. And, um, and Jeanette Douglas was the designer. So um, I'll insert some pictures from the class that I took with Jeanette and, um, and uh, it's just some of the vendors and, and things that I got and friends there. So I'll insert that after uh, at the end here. But uh, it was lovely. Um, I went on Thursday thinking that I was going to have my surgery on the Friday, the 23rd. Um, but when I got to the hospital on the morning of the 23rd, uh, the surgeon that was supposed to do my surgery actually got called in to do a liver transplant. So she couldn't do my surgery that morning and I got sent home, which was devastating at the time. Um, I thought for sure it was going to be months before, if at all, if I could get the surgery done. So I got sent home and, um, you know, within the hour I was thinking, I, I just can't he sit here and stew about it. So I went back to the retreat. So I did actually get to do the entire retreat at Stitch and Stash. I got to go to the class on Saturday morning with Jeanette. It was so lovely. Um, and then I enjoyed it all weekend. And then I was able to get my surgery done on June the 28th. So it was delayed by five days, um, but I did get to enjoy the whole retreat. So you'll see pictures from the whole weekend and, um, and obviously lots of shopping. So um, let's jump into that and we'll, we'll chat a little bit more about what I got along the way. So first, we'll start with a few small things. I got um, this new Veldani. It's uh, 0102. It's a 12 weight and it's their new their new color 
and it's got some blue and purple in there. The color's not sure. There we go. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this one. So I added that to the collection. And um, let's see where I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> uh, and also from Valdani, they have these um, wool fabrics. So they're just little pieces of, um, it's 100% virgin Australian wool. It's an 8 by 12, 12 sheet. And I got this uh, pink color. Pink red is what you call them. And this one is called Peach. Got that. The color is more, yeah, maybe like that. I got this beautiful blue, variegated um, mottled blue color. And then I got this brown black color with the little uh, checkers on it. It, they're absolutely beautiful colors. So again, that's from uh, Valdani. And this one's called Burnt Chocolate. So what I'm going to use these for is the backing for pillows. So I want to um, stitch the Cuckoo Bird again uh, from Hands On Design because I did end up giving that one to Dana um, for her trunk show. So I'm going to stitch that again and I'm going to back it with the Valdani threads and I'm going to back it with one of those um, with one of those wools. And now from, oh my goodness, let's see how I can show these. <laughs> from Karen at uh, Rocky Mountain Needle Minders. So this is her card. Whoops, cover up her name there. There we go. Karen DeRoche. And uh, you can find her on Facebook. I think that's the easiest way. And she has galleries there and she posts her needle minders and you can order it right through email and then e-transfer her the money or just contact her over Facebook and then um, she kind of does it that way. So Karen DeRoche and these are some of the needle minders that I got. And Karen has beautiful bling on her needle minders. So this is a little frog that I got. He's so cute. I love him. And I also, sorry for the noise here. They're all together. <laughs> I got this beautiful um, dragonfly. They're just so sparkly. I absolutely love them. I got this little bunny. They're so pretty. They look so nice on your projects. Um, Karen gave me this one as a little thank you. Thank you, Karen, for that. A little pink sparkly one. Just as a stitchy kindness. Uh, I got this one. It says the Black Sheep Club. Because you know, I'm a bit of an outlier sometimes. There we go. And I got this little peacock. Alright. It's blingy blingy. So pretty. And this I think is my favorite my favorite <laughs> I just love this little guy this little frog and um, let's see there we go so Judy Ozzy from um, Ozzy in a Kiwi world <laughs> I think she would like this one she loves frogs maybe I can try and find you one Judy next time I go uh, to see Karen um, so in our goodie bags, we got uh, one of these little Oort holders. So if you've ever seen these before or not, but they just twist open like this. Okay. And we got a beautiful, um, it's over in my case there, but a beautiful crocheted round flower. And it can be used just as a, like a coaster or on your thing. I think I'm going to attach it to a project bag. Um, but one of the ladies, uh, Donna, hi Donna, one of our stitchy friends, she made 125 of these to go in all of the bags. So they're beautiful. Um, on the center of the table, there was a flower bouquet um, with 10 of these in each one. And uh, and we each got to take one home at the end. So I just kind of folded mine up. This is a just a floss, an anchor floss on a flower thing. So. Uh, Kelly wound all of those. <laughs> so good job, Kelly. That was a lot. And um, I got these from Jean, little floss drops. There we go. And I think Clayton, her husband, actually helped to punch these out. So way to go, Clayton. I owe you some chocolate or something. You did a great job on these. That was awesome. Uh, we got one of these little scissor holders, all these handmade beautiful things in the grab bags. Um, these are my scissors, obviously, and, and my 
my turny chopstick that I <laughs> use for my corners. But I, uh, this was in there as well. And um, a little bag from Traditional Stitches. There we go. Yep. And it all came in a bag. One of those um, zipper bags. I don't know if I have it here. Just give me two seconds. Uh, no, but anyway, um, Jean had cut out stitch and put it on the front of it into one of these, um, the bigger, um, you know what I'm trying to say, one of the zippered little bags. That was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got this in Jeanette's class. From, Hi, Jeanette. You just you were just so lovely and charming. I absolutely loved meeting you. You're just so down to earth. If you ever have a chance to take one of Jeanette's classes, um, please sign up and, and go and meet her and chat with her. She's just so lovely and personable. And um, she's just a very, very talented stitcher and designer. So um, if you ever have a chance to meet Jeanette, um, please take that take the time. Um, so I did get this from her class, just for, as one of the little gifts. And this was a little thing that, uh, that one of the ladies is handing out there too. It was so sweet. It's so sweet. And um, I got this one from uh, Cheryl from Calgary. And it has this lovely little uh, owl <laughs> on it. I love this. So um, Cheryl has a floss tube, handwork studios. I believe Cheryl's a multi-crafter. So I'll put her link to her channel below. And um, she made these lovely bags for a few of us for her table gifts. And uh, she had one left over and gave it to me. So I absolutely love this. Cheryl, this will be going in my purse and I'll be using it. Um, you have to make one of these for Judy, right? The City Stitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, get her, get on her. She can make you one of these. They're gorgeous. <laughs> so, so nice. And uh, then my friend Beverly uh, was giving out these as her table gift. And uh, she had a couple left over, so she gave one to me as a little, as a nice little gift. It's a little thread bed. Beautiful colors. Thank you, Beverly, for that. And, uh, oh, I got a pair of scissors from uh, my friend Leanne. Hi, Leanne. I think... They're in, the, they're in the scissor stash back here, but a beautiful pair of uh, DMC scissors in uh, multicolor. They were really nice. Um, oh, I also got these two from Rocky Mountain Needle Minders from Karen. I got this one, the Hummingbird. And I got this butterfly as well. You can just see how sparkly they are. They're just, they're so pretty on your, on your projects. And um, I did participate in the Smalls Exchange. So this one came from uh, Sarah. Sarah Moores is the one that, um, that I received. And then one of the other ladies, uh, Judy, who actually works with Jeanette Douglas, received my Smalls Exchange that I gave. So I'll say what that was in a second here. I don't remember if I, if I have pictures, I'll put it in after, but um, anyway, this is from Sarah. And she had a Van Gogh theme, so this was the card. And then she gave me three needle minders. The Van Gogh sunflowers on them, and the uh, Cafe at Night scene. And then the uh, Starry Night. Absolutely love these. I, I love Van Gogh art. Um, it also had a package of three little notebooks. So these are really handy for your purse that were Van Gogh themed as well. And then this was the little finish that she made. And I love it. It just sits up here on my shelf. Um, it was just the Bengo Sunflowers uh, finish. So I love it. Thank you, Sarah, so much for the lovely um, exchange gift. For the gift that I gave for my exchange, if I have pictures, I'll put them in here. I can't remember if I took pictures of it or not. I hope I did. Um, it, uh, it was a sewing case, a little jewelry case that opened up and I had put, um, the, the theme was flowers and, um, it was flowers. Yeah. So I, and butterflies and things. So I had, um, stitched a Carolyn Manning brooch from the cell. So I'm part of the, um, Carolyn Manning grandma's, uh, jewelry box cell this year. So every month I get one of these patterns. So the one for January was actually 
um, a blue one with butterflies and flowers on it and I had decorated all that with beads so I took that and finished it and then put it on top of the jewelry box and then when you opened it up I had it all lined with papers I put in a pair of stork scissors and um, I had it all lined with trim and you know ribbons and I had a needle minder in there and some classic colorworks threads and a thimble can't remember. Anyway, I kind of filled it up just with a little sewing notion. So again, if I have some pictures, I will have put them in here. Um, but uh, I think Judy really enjoyed that. And uh, Judy, it was really nice to meet you. She's the event coordinator for, I guess that's the title, sorry, but like a, 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 an assistant to um, Jeanette who helps coordinate all of her uh, river cruises and things. So uh, definitely um, reach out to her if you're interested in any of that for Jeanette's uh, upcoming events. And um, I did from traditional stitches. I actually got these two beautiful new wooden hoops. I do like stitching from a hoop. So this was the oh, I'll kind of blow out. This is the brand, and um, these are absolutely lovely. I think I need to wrap them in something in order to keep them to keep the um, the fabric from slipping. But they they are really really nice. I like the thickness of them, and they fit nice in my Lowry stand. So. Got those two hoops and um, let's see uh, from Jeanette Douglas <clears throat> so Jeanette also had a um, a table set up where you could go and buy her patterns and I did get quite a few of the things from her from her table as well absolutely love her designs um, First to start though, this is the pattern. I stitched uh, this one here and I got the this multicolored one and the orange one, which I believe is this one up here. I got two kits for those as well, but this was the pattern that we started. Uh, oh, and I got the dowels too to hang them up <clears throat> from the, uh, the class that I took. So we learned the different, uh, like the leaf stitch and um, satin stitch. There was a bunch that, uh, that Jeanette taught us. So, um, so that was the pattern that we did during the class. It was absolutely lovely. Um, I did get this one here, Quaker Star Delight. So I, did, I really like this one. And um, this one was actually one that Jeanette designed for us. It's the budding bouquet number one. She said that this may be a series, but this one was a special design for stitch and stash retreat. So you could only get this at the retreat, um, but I believe from the way she spoke that it will be released. Um, it was, uh, Kelly had stitched it up as a model. It's absolutely gorgeous and it came with all the threads. Cannot wait to stitch that one. And I think it'll be a series, a seasonal series from what, the way she talked about it. This one is um, Matter in Hand. So this, uh, let's see if I can get it without the glare. All the scissors, and I really like that one, that big tomato. Uh, this one is called Vintage Animals. I think I'll be starting this one pretty soon. And the tree is, um, the letters actually form the shape of a tree if you look closely, it's very pretty. Really, really nice. I like that one. And I'm going to have to live to be 300 to stitch all this, but, uh, but it's just fun, right? <laughs> uh, vintage flowers. I got this one. And uh, Shelly from the Antique Needle Workers actually picked this one up. I believe she's working on it or going to be working on it. She saw it at one of the at StitchCon. I think one of her friends was stitching it and um she said she's going to be starting that one as well. So maybe we can do a bit of stitch along, Shelly. That would be super fun. <laughs> um, this one is called the Journey Box. I love these ones that have the uh, the different um, the different little things that you could put in. So I got that one, and then I did actually. She had the box there, so I actually got the the little box to put it in. So I have that. And then it also fits this um, mermaid box. So I got two of those and I can kind of interchange them for, for different seasons. I thought that was just super cute. I love anything ocean, right? 
Um, oh, this one got, uh, these two actually got put in. These three, sorry, these three were from my um, one, two, three stitch order. They just got put in the wrong pile here. So I did get the Ulala. La, whoops, yeah, the Long Winding Road from the Magical uh, Mystery Tour series. And uh, this one's called Ulala. La. These are French flare, different uh, sampler pieces. And I did get the Winds of Autumn. This one came a little bit damaged on the corner, but beautiful, beautiful patterns in here as well. Yeah, so really enjoy looking through those. And um, the other Jeanette Douglas one that I got that I'll hopefully be starting shortly. I fell in love with this pattern. It's called um, Summer by the Sea, Winter by the Sea. And there's four parts. So this one is that upper top corner for Summer by the Sea. And then it's Winter by the Sea. And Autumn by the Sea. And Spring by the Sea. And I have all of this kitted. I am going to stitch this on this 40 count fabric. And I did buy all the embellishment packs for them. So they come like this, like four different embellishment packs that comes with all the beads and the, the silks and MPIs and I think Karen Water Lilies colors that you need. So you can get the kits um, from Jeanette Douglas herself. Um, you can go to her website and, and reach out to Jeanette and she can, that's what I did. And she's, she's graciously reached out to me after the um, Stitch and Stash retreat and said that she had them available. So we're texting back and forth and then um, I just e transfer her the money and she sent me the, the embellishment packs for all four of them. So this is, um, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. You can see all of the specialty stitches that are in here. I, I can't wait to try this. It'll be a little bit challenging, but, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, three other things that I got from traditional stitches were the birds of a feather from Blackbird and uh, the Feast of Friendship, Blackbird as well, and uh, Oh Joyous Day right here. So this one, um, in the beginning when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I saw Sarah from Sarah Stitchy Spot um, stitching this one, and I, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous in person. So um, I, like, I, I saw it on her floss tube. So uh, I wanted to stitch that one. And this is what it was based off of, the antique sampler. Beautiful. So uh, I can't wait to start that one too. And then uh, these are the Canadian snippets from Jeanette Douglas. Again, so there's uh, six different patterns of these. And the, you can put them all together like this. There was one lady at the retreat that actually had it where she um, had them all in a like two, two by two in a long strip. And that was really nice with a pull. So maybe that's an option too. There's that one. And then the True North. And these ones, with the Northern Lights and the Inukshuk. 1867 for Canada. These ones. Seven and eight. This is nine and ten. Sorry, it's a little bit quick, but I have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> and uh, then the one with the moose. I thought that was super cute. So, um, so that's a patriotic one. I may be starting this now and and just do little pieces of it. I think I may actually stitch it like this with them all together. Uh, now that my Canada sampler is done, I always like to have something Canada related going. And then there's this Hollapalooza of fabrics from um, from Charlene <laughs> at the Grateful Thread. So there, I absolutely love Charlene's fabrics. If you can reach out to her on Facebook um, or at her email, it is um, Charlene Petrosky at yahoo.ca, and I'll put her contact information below. She has just an incredible amount of beautiful fabrics and most of them are one of a kind she can repeat some but um, 
but there's no names. They're just one of a kind colors. This is gorgeous blue. This one is a 27 count. And then this green color, which will be much more maybe here. Let's see. I opened it up a bit. It's kind of washing out to, it's a really deep green though. I wish you could get to see the color of that one. It's beautiful. Nice Halloween fabric. I got this um, opalescent blue. You can see the sparkles in it. Yep. And this uh, sky blue color. Beautiful. It's a 40 count. This is another 40 count. It's a pink gray modeling. And then this gorgeous lemon yellow color. I'm not sure what's going on this one yet, but it's beautiful. It's more like maybe here. Beautiful lemon color. Really nice for spring. And another blue. This is a 28 count lemon. As you can tell, I love teal blue. <laughs> and this one is a 32 count uh, lemon. A teal blue as well and I have this gorgeous one I'm going to try one of the Teresa Kogut uh, Halloween patterns on this the iridescent stormy gray color of that one this is like the PS30 is dance <laughs> it's gorgeous look at this she just has a way of capturing these colors I love this. So maybe a sampler, maybe something uh, like Charlene says, just put something unexpected on there, right? And then there's this one, an orangey gray color, 40 count. And she does all counts, um, 40, 46, uh, 40 for doll, um, 27, 28, 32, 36, and all eight is 14 through 20. 14 through 18, I believe. And this one, it's like a yellow gray. Again, really nice for Halloween stitching, maybe. I haven't stitched anything Halloween yet, but maybe the fall will inspire me. <laughs> there we go. And this gingerbread color. I'm really building up my color stash here. It's more orangey than this. I apologize, the colors are not great today. The lighting is, is a little off. And I got this blue teal color, aqua, really pretty. It's almost a neutral, I love that. And then I got this one. I think, and Charlene and I both agreed, I think this is the most beautiful piece of fabric that I've seen her dye yet. It, is beautiful. <clears throat> Gotta open it up. Look at these colors. I love it. This is one of these pieces of fabrics that I think I'll hold on to for a while because I won't know, I won't want to stitch the wrong thing on it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry. All right. And then I got some. Um, project bags from Cheryl. So these are Cheryl's um, creations by Cheryl. I think I had her card here earlier, but I'll put her contact information below. And she just does such a lovely job on these bags. So I'm completely outfitted now. I need probably three or four more, but here is one here. And then this one. This has my uh, Summer Quaker in it, <laughs> normally. I had to use that one because I loved it. This one here. Beautiful French fabrics. This is my Canadiana one. So I love that, the, the red on the back. This one is uh, Blackbird Fabrics. Sampler. Eliza Wilson. 
And this one's also Blackbird Fabrics. <clears throat> Again, she puts tags on, on all of her, on her bags. She, they, she just does such a lovely job. Love that one, and that's the back. And I got this one. So that's, uh, that is all of my haul from the Stitch and Stash Retreat. Um, <clears throat> it was just an absolutely lovely time. Like I said, I'll insert some pictures and videos here at the end. And um, I'll just have a quick look at my list. Oh, if you are interested, the Stitch and Stash Retreat will be happening again next year at the, the last week of June. And again, at the West Edmonton Mall Fantasyland Hotel in 2024 and the theme is Christmas in June so it is going to be so much fun I can't wait um, Jean has been doing um, a fantastic job with Kelly uh, organizing and they're already uh, plotting for next year so I can't wait to see what they have um, oh there's one other thing I wanted to say thank you to all of my local stitchy friends here they before I went in for surgery they came together and gave me um, a $250 gift card for meal craft. <clears throat> That's a local meal service here, uh, a chef service in Edmonton. And we ordered, um, before I went in for the surgery and then the kids, um, had all of their meals ready here in Palo so that I didn't have to pre-cook anything or get anything ready. Um, it was great. It's called Meal Craft. They, you go in and pick your meals and then they just showed up with it two days later um, uh, when, we, when we wanted it delivered. And um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for that gift. It made a huge difference in Paolo being able to spend more time with me at the hospital um, while I was recovering. So again, just thank you to all of you who contributed to that. Uh, it was just very, the kids loved it. They all say thank you. Paolo says thank you. And um, yeah, it was just a, a very nice touching gift. I, I just appreciated that. Um, I don't have anything left from my uh, notes here. So for um, just a little bit of a life update, um, if you are new here, maybe you're trying to piece together what I've been talking about with the surgery. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014 and it, uh, I had a recurrence in 2021 that came back and I was on a clinical trial for, um, a year and a half up until just recently, a couple of months ago. And, uh, that drug stopped working and, um, I, I had a, a tumor in my liver that started to grow again. So, um, the surgery was to actually remove that and from... What I can tell, they've gotten it all out. So uh, I meet with the surgeon tomorrow just to, to fully review the report and everything with her. And um, but it looks like it looks like good news, and that uh, at stage four, to be able to put it back into remission at this point is a is a pretty big deal. <laughs> so um, fingers crossed that it all still goes well. Um, I will have to still take a treatment plan and meeting with my oncologist again on Thursday and um, they'll still be doing meds and scans and all those things but uh, but thankfully for now um, it has been removed and um, you know we'll, we'll see what comes next right and um, I just want to say thank you for all your support and well wishes and, and thoughts and prayers over the last um, over the last couple of months and, and, and year, certainly it's been an absolute joy to interact with all of you and um, it has really made a difference in in my health and my recovery, uh, my mental health and uh, just having the support of the Stitchy community has made all the difference. So, um, you know, you we all have our, our families at home. Paolo is, as you can see, I mean, we are just absolutely love him. He's my rock. Um, the kids are so supportive. My mom and dad, his mom and dad, like I have a very strong foundation of care and love and support around me here, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and, and just, just outside of that circle is, um, is my stitchy community. So I, I thank you all so, so, so much. And, um, here's to a, a big, bright future and, um, uh, 
dare to dream a little dream with me, right? <laughs> Let's keep going. So um, with that, I'll wrap this up. Um, oh, I did want to do one thing. I am going to do a giveaway. So I just need to grab the thing and I will be right back. Okay, here I am. Um, so I wanted to do a giveaway just to say thank you so much to everybody for being so supportive. Um, I've crossed over 4,000 subscribers since I talked to you last and we're on our way to 5,000. I am thrilled and so excited. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe the video. It makes a big difference uh, to me to know that people actually enjoy um, what they're seeing, that they enjoy the content and um and certainly leave a comment i try to reply back to every single comment this last couple of weeks has been a little bit rough i haven't been able to but i will go back and catch up i read all of them uh, paolo reads most of them too he absolutely loves to know um the support and love that comes from the community so with that being said for the 4,000 subscribers and um and just all of the love and support shown I would like to give away this project bag. This one is also from Cheryl um, at Creations by Cheryl. Cheryl was generous enough to donate this to our channel for us, for you guys for a giveaway. So it has a beautiful um, ocean scene in there with the, the tropics. This is an absolutely beautiful bag. So if you are interested in, um, in getting this one, uh, just put the word bag into a comment below and um, and we'll draw for this next time. So this will be the giveaway for this week. And I would also like to do uh, another happy mail draw. So if um, this is just a surprise gift from me, and so if you write the word happy in your comment, then uh, I will do a draw for a happy mail next time and I'll put together um, a nice little package of stitchy goodness for you and uh, and get it off in the mail so uh, so that will be drawn for next time as well so for the bag use the word bag <laughs> and for the happy mail just use the word happy in your comment below so I look forward to reading all of your comments I'm so glad to be back um, I am feeling very very well and uh, and every day I'm just getting a little bit stronger so I appreciate all your time today. I know this is a bit of a longer video, um, but I did want to catch up on everything. So I'll try to be back again uh, next week. We're actually heading to uh, to Golden, to our acreage, and uh, I may uh, be able to record something from there for you guys with an update on my whips. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll have um, another, um, another video. And until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.